Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be going in depth into the world of 5G, global warming, negative health effects, all that kind of good stuff. And we're going to be using official government data. So, you know, not much to argue with me about this stuff. I'm going to start with the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection. Now, these guys are the creme de la creme. These are the guys that the governments use around the world to judge RF safety. And there's a really long document. It was just published actually really recently, really long. They go, go through a lot, a lot of it. They do say, they do say it is important to note that the ICNIRP bases its guidelines on substantiated adverse health effects. And it makes a difference between the biological and adverse health effects meaning that only adverse health effects require restrictions. So they pretty much give a disclaimer saying, health effects in general, we're not gonna cover, it's only the serious stuff we're gonna discover, but they all talk about brain damage, learning difficulties, sperm, and mostly of all, they all pretty much say that all the studies in existence in the world is unsubstantiated. Even the studies by the official United States government the one that said, hey, lab rats, they have been proven. I'll get, I'll get the quote right here for you. It says that there is clear evidence that male rats exposed to high levels of RF radiation developed cancerous heart tumors. So lab rats, according to the US government, they have a link between lab rats and 3G radiation. This study over here from the international people, they say it's a bunch of nonsense, pretty much. But one thing they do have right at the bottom, there's a good awesome area it's called summary and they say listen to this very carefully because it's very good it says the only substantiated adverse health effects caused by exposure from rf are nerve stimulation okay nerve stimulation let that one slide that one's only for really low frequency waves let's skip that one changes in the permeability of cell membranes whoa I'm gonna get back that very soon and effects due to temperature elevation so changes to the permeability of cell membranes. What does that one mean? Well, I'm gonna jump into the world of Wikipedia. Electroporation. Electroporation is a microbiology technique in which an electrical field is applied to cells in order to increase the permeability of the cell membrane, allowing chemicals, drugs, or DNA to be introduced into the cell. Electroporation is used in the process of tumor treatment, gene therapy, and cell-based therapy. Pretty much what they're saying is the skin, which acts as an amazing defense layer against all these bacteria and things out there that could be dangerous, it stops it from entering our cells. But due to RF, our cells can be exposed to these outside external forces and inside external forces going on the outside. I wonder why there's so many infections going around in the world today. Could it be linked to this, this term? Could it be linked to the quote, let me call it, permeability of cell membranes? Now these guys, remember, these guys are the guys that even dispute the United States government's claims on cancer and rats. They admit it right there that it causes the ability for cell membranes to permeate. I'll let that one sit in for a second while I go into the next point and it says the effects due to temperature elevation. Now in this report of theirs, they talk about temperature, core body temperature of humans being increased one degrees Celsius, one degrees, one degrees. I'm gonna go in and lower that. I'm gonna go into one of the studies they had inside which says, quote, body core temperature increase was generally less than 0.2. I'm gonna give them 0.1. 0.1 elevation in the human body core. Okay, that's gonna affect certain things, but the humans, are they amazing at dissipating heat? Forget that. Let's times that 0.1 by 7 billion humans around the world. Let's times that by the amount of animals there are in the world. I'm just gonna pick up the phone. Hey, Gra, Gra, I'm gonna need your help for this one. This one requires climate change. Don't worry guys, don't worry guys. It wasn't, wasn't plugged in. Let's look at what the governments are doing around the world. China's IT ministry urges faster 5G rollout. Last year, they introduced 100,000 cells in China. 100,000 cells. This year, they wanna introduce 600,000. We're looking at worldwide millions of cells being built, let alone SpaceX, Elon Musk, the guy that gets slapped allegedly by Johnny Depp's ex. Anyway, let's not pass over that one. He is launching 42,000. 
thousand satellites in the sky beaming cellular cellular radiation to us. Now, I'm going to calculate that. You've got millions of cells which have heat signatures. You know, they don't run cool, they run with warmth. They generate heat, they require heat. <laughs> millions of them around the world. You've got this radiation beamed around us by satellites. And we've got us as human species, our body core temperatures being increased individually by let's just say 0.1 degrees Celsius. And the animals, I'm not going to even count how many animals there are because there's billions of animals, loads and loads of them, lots and lots of them. Their body core temperatures are going to get increased as well. Hmm, I wonder if this will have any effects to climate change whatsoever. Guys, I know CO2 is very popular, but I've got to tell you something. Governments around the world, they've got a handle on CO2. We've all set our targets, 2050, all that kind of stuff. We're reducing the carbon footprint, but what we're not imp improving on, what we're really reducing on exponentially, what's growing at a rate of six times this year from China, next year will be 60. I don't know what's going on, but some sort of heat generation due to this rollout, it is happening. Can someone please get our heads around the situation? Yeah, that's enough of that. Let's jump in. What other governments are doing? Okay, the United States governments. Okay, we've got tech drivers over here, CNBC, official news network. Why the pandemic may fast forward 5G adoption. So CNBC, they're pushing 5G adoption to solve viruses, even though looking into the material, it might not actually help with the stopping of the spreading of viruses if it increases our cell permeability. Let's skip over that. This article, of course, is written by, let's see who it's written by. Okay, this guy over here, let's see his Twitter. Wow, loves McDonald's, even better. Let's click on his website. He doesn't even know how to run a website. His website is down, yet he is the tech guru of CNBC. These are the guys that are pushing 5G tech gurus around the world. Very good. Let's see what else is happening around the world. When was this made? March the 4th, when everyone is concerned about something else? You got Ericsson boasting, today the company has announced it has produced the first 5G base station. Millimeter wave, street unit cells are a new factory. So they're boasting about 5G while something else is panicking the world. Good stuff, America. We got Iran. When was this posted? February? Mid-February? Before Valentine's Day? Before this thing exploded? Iran finishing preparations for 5G launch. Italy getting ready to reach more cities with 5G. <laughs> the UK government, I'm gonna go into the UK government. They are great. Press release just announced, 20th of February. They're giving 200 million pounds to boost the adoption of 5G. 200 million pounds. Shouldn't they be pumping that into the NHS? Nah, 5G, that's the way to go. And let's look at the UK government. Let's launch their Ofcom report which was um, interestingly posted like one month before the regulations changed. But anyway, look at this Ofcom report. It's amazing. They got all of these figures. Look how low the levels of 5G is in the UK. They literally got it as what, what Canary Wharf, two to 3% of the limits from the ICN IRP, only two to 3%. Now me personally, what I like to do in this world, I like to convert this percentage into realistic percentage figures. So that two, 3%, Let's turn it into the levels of microwave ovens. Two, three percent is around 300 milliwatts per meter squared. My microwave oven, if I stick my head right next to the microwave oven, that guy goes at 400 milliwatts per meter squared. So you're telling me if I walk around Canary Wharf, it's pretty much like having a microwave strapped right next to my head. Now my mum, she told me growing up, when you're cooking stuff in a microwave, maybe stand a little bit back, don't get so close to it. And she said that because she was a smart lady. Do you know who else says that? The friggin' United States government. That's right, the FDA of the USA. They say, do not stand near the microwave oven for long periods of time. I can't exactly do that in Canary Wharf, can I? And interestingly enough, let's look at the past. I've got an amazing study over here, published in 1997. But do you know what they did? They took a bunch of lab rats, and this, this quote is classic. It says, do microwave ovens affect the eyes and the study pretty much proved that it Fs up the eyes of lab rats. But the end of it is great. I love it. I love it. It says microwave oven users do not normally stand as close to the oven as the rats in our study was placed. So the rats weren't even placed next to the microwave. It was just close to a microwave. But it's saying humans don't do that. Try talking to the humans around the world today. Canary Wolf, been nice knowing you. A lot of stuff, we talked about this here. Hope you guys found this video useful and informative. 
If you want to help, spread the word, read the documents yourself, try to analyze the situation as it's evolving itself, pick up the phone, call up our superhero Captain Planet, and let's kind of move these climate changers away from what's solved into what's evolving and dangerous, and hopefully we can get grips on this new reality. But either way, hope you guys found this video useful. It's been nice knowing you guys. I'll probably be taking off after this. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the show.